What's going on everybody? In this video, we will take recorded footage and process them using Rococo's free AI tool to turn video into animations and retarget those animations for our metahuman. To get started, you will need five things. A Rococo account, Rococo Studio app, Rococo video dashboard, your footage, and a metahuman. Links to everything will be in the description below. Go to the video Rococo dashboard and create a new project. Then you want to go under video takes, create a new one. Then from there you can upload your footage or you can use your webcam. Now you could click turn into animation and just wait for processing. Inside the studio app you should see your animation under animation clips. Double click on that and just wait for it to load in. To move around the viewport, you want to hold down the Alt key and right click. And then you can move from left to right. The scroll wheel will zoom in and out. These are my export settings. File format, FBX. I checked on body mesh. Skeleton Mixamo. FBX format, binary. FBX version 2020. The frame rate is at 30 and included the reference pose. And then you want to export clips. You can also check the folder which one you want your clips to be sent to. Inside of Unreal Engine, when I'm dragging in my clip, everything's on the default settings. The only thing that I changed was import animations. You want to make sure to have that checked and then hit import all. You also don't need a skeleton when importing. Inside the content drawer, you want to right click in the empty location and go to animation, go to IK rig and select IK rig. And now you want to select your Mixamo skeletal mesh. I name mine's Mixamo IK rig. Now we go and double click on the Mixamo IK rig. To see the bones, click on the character, go to bones, and select all hierarchy. In the lower right side, you want to select IK retargeting and click on add new chain. Type in leg L, leg underscore L, and no goal. Add new chain, leg underscore R, and no goal. Hand L and no goal. Hand R and no goal. Type in head and no goal. And spine, no goal. For the leg L start bone, you want to type in left upper, left up leg. For the end bone, you want to type in left toe base. For leg R, you want to type in right up leg and the end bone right toe base for hand L left shoulder and the end bone left hand for hand R it's right shoulder and the end bone will be the right hand for the head the star bone will be the neck and the end bone will be the head for the spine the star bone will be the spine and bone will be the spine too Rig element and hierarchy, click on the hips, and then you want to right click and set retarget root, and then hit save. Back in a content drawer, you want to right click on an empty space under animation, IK rig, and IK rig. And now you want to select the skeletal mesh for your metahuman. I name mine's MH IK rig. And you're going to double click it. All right, we just follow the similar steps in the first one. New chain, leg L, leg R, no goal, all of them no goal. Hand L, no goal. Hand R, no goal. Head, no goal. 
and spy no go. We're going to um, click on pelvis and we're going to right click and set retarget root. For leg L star bone, type in thigh L and the end bone is ball L. For leg R, star bone will be thigh R and the end bone will be ball R. For hand L, we're going to type in clavicle L and the end bone will be hand L. Hand R will be clavicle R and hand R will be the end bone. For the head, the star bone will be neck one and the end bone will be head. For spine, we're going to select spine one and the end bone will be spine five. Then we could save. Back in the content drawer, we're going to right click animation, IK, and then IK retargeter, and we're going to select the maximal IK rig, which we created. I'm going to name mine's custom retargeter. Inside the custom retargeter, you can see our maximal IK rig as the source asset. The source preview mouse is the animation. And we're going to just target the IK, which we're going to retarget to. We're going to select the meta human rig, which we created. And you can see the preview mess already selected. And from here, we could just scale it up so it matches with the, uh, the bones underneath. And then we got to click on create uh, pose. I'm going to name mine uh, meta human T pose. And from there, we could click on edit mode. And from here, how to line up my metahuman to the preview bone T pose. From here, I have some issues uh, selecting the bones, but if you look real closely, you can see exactly what you need to, to select. You can also decrease the bone size so you can actually see. I try lining them up as best as I could. Uh, once finished, all you have to do is just tap, um, click edit mode again. I moved over the target mess on the offset just so I could click the animation and watch them both play to make sure everything's working. Once finished, you could just hit save. Back in the content drawer, you want to select your animation and then you're going to right click and retarget animation asset. And then on retargeter, you want to select the custom retargeter that we created. I'm going to just name the prefix and I'm going to change it to our location that I want to save that. And then you press retarget. From here, I just created a new level sequence. I tracked my metahuman and deleted the body control rig and selected my animation that was retargeted. And you can see it works. I already know that I've made some like mistakes in here. <laughs> I really wanted to get this uh, tutorial out to you guys. But um, what I would do differently is like really take my time uh, retargeting. So, but you could also clean it up if you want to, you know, bake the animation to a control rig, delete the animation. And then select what bones you want to fix and create new keyframes. You know, it's not that hard to fix it up, but you know, <laughs> I really wanted to get this done for you guys. You you could spend like hours probably, you know, working on this. If this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.